Greetings everyone. Coming to you from Elburn, Illinois, about 50 miles west of Chicago. And today we're going to explore that right there, Johnson's Mound. Now before we uh, embark on that journey, I just want to tell you a little bit about my channel. If you're into seeing content about uh, forest preserves, similar to this one, or historical places, museums, that sort of thing, please give the video a, a like and the channel a subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Without further ado, let's embark on our adventure. <music> to Johnson's Mound. See it's quite a popular place this morning. Cars in the parking lot. This here is a one-way street. Leads up to the top of Johnson's Mound. Winter time, this is a pretty popular sledding hill. I have not uh, been here at winter time yet, but I have to remember this when uh, it snows next time. I'm sure, my kids would love to come sliding down this hill. There's the road that heads back up to the top of the mound. This is the path to the nature trails. I've been told that uh, this forest is heavily covered with oak trees. I don't know much about uh, trees and plants and that sort of thing, but I do love just walking around places like this. Very peaceful. The actual mound itself is known as a came, K-A-M-E, which is basically layered deposits of uh, gravel and sand that were created when uh, the melting glaciers of our last ice age receded and deposited all those materials that formed what we now know as Johnson's Mound. Odd looking tree there. when I first uh, came to visit this place is a cell phone tower here right smack dab in the middle of the reserve. Strange. So this is considered the prairie just north of the mound, still in the preserve. It's always a nice peaceful area to take a walk around on a crazy Saturday like today. Hoping to get a glimpse of some wildlife out here this morning, but it uh, doesn't seem to be much of anything as of right now. Oh well, I'll keep my eyes peeled. Hopefully we can get something on film. in the prairie and still no signs of any wildlife. Plenty of birds, but no furry little critters or deer or anything like that. Thought maybe I'd see something so right now, but no such luck yet. There's a cell phone tower off at a distance. Just spoke to one of the locals, 
they told me that it's not uncommon to see deer roaming around uh, this forest preserve. <sighs> Didn't get the chance to see that this time, but I don't live too far from here, so I'll, bring, I'll come back here, bring my family. Maybe we see some deer next time. I should point out that uh, Johnson's Mound also has a cover picnic area. This recreation field. And over there in the background, that house is used for you know, various uh, uses by the Forest Preserve meeting and gathering spaces and activities. Back up the hill we go. This one way road takes you all the way to the top of Johnson's Mound. I'm going to walk it first and then get in my car and drive up to the top. As I mentioned earlier, Johnson's Mound was formed by uh, receding glaciers about 10,000 years ago. And the actual mound itself is about 900 feet above sea level. And it rises about 100 feet above the surrounding farmland. So. Not the Rocky Mountains or even the uh, Appalachia, but in the flat uh, portions of Illinois, this is uh, this is considered uh, pretty high up there. So I'm going to enjoy this uh, walk to the top, and then uh, get in my car and drive up there. Did I just say the Appalachia? Let's say the Appalachians. You know, speaking of Appalachia. Always reminded of my uh, trips to West Virginia I would take with my grandpa every Thanksgiving. We would always take the 12-hour ride out there, and it was kind of a, was a deer hunting trip with uh, him and a bunch of his friends. But really, for me, it was just more about spending that time with my grandpa out in the woods. In fact, anytime I smell a campfire, I'm always reminded of those trips to the mountains of West Virginia with my grandpa. And he's been gone about 11 years now, but like I said, smell of a campfire, or just walking around a nature preserve like that just kind of takes me back to those days. Tree falls in the forest, doesn't make a sound. All right, starting to gain a little elevation here. Road's starting to slope a little bit. As we're nearing the summit of Johnson's Mound. Cracking myself up saying summit when only about 100 feet above the local farmland, but that's all right. I don't know if you can see it on the camera here, but this is really where the road here is starting to slope. Getting some elevation. Definitely out of shape because my legs are killing me. I don't think I'd be able to do the mountains of West Virginia now. Here at the top of Johnson's Mound sits this shelter, and I learned from the Forest Preserve while I was researching this place that <coughs> excuse me, it was built out of limestone from the 1930s. It was provided by St. Gall Catholic Church just up the road. top of Johnson's Mound. Parking lot down there. There's the limestone shelter I was just telling you about.
Here's the top of the sledding hill I showed you earlier. Oh yeah, we'll definitely be back here in the first snowfall. Now I can't leave Johnson's Mound without showing you this carving of a face into the tree. Not much is really known about the origins of this, but according to the Forest Preserve, it's been around at least since the early 70s. Couldn't find much more research beyond that though. This is also at the top of the sledding hill. Looks like the Boy Scouts or somebody built a shelter over here. Back in my car now, heading up to the top of the mound. Just thinking, I really need to get in shape. So I'm going to be doing some more of these exploration videos. I drive a very old car, so I'm hoping it's going to make it to the top here. I know it's just 100 feet, but my car is very old. And here we are, back up at the top. Five miles east of Johnson's Mound. I'm pretty sure that's it off in the distance there. Well, that about does it for today's video from Johnson's Mound in Elburn, Illinois. Again, as I mentioned earlier, I visit roadside attractions, places of historical significance, museums, and nature preserves similar to this one. If that sort of content interests you, please consider giving my videos a like and a subscribe. Thank you again for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you all in uh, the next video.